Hercules hinders more than helps Jason. Jason and the Argonauts. When a paranoid king kills someone in Hera's temple, she becomes guardian to Jason, who later saves him from drowning. Let me get this wrong. Not only have you refused to kill the boy, you've even stopped the boy from killing himself, which would have solved my problem, which would have solved your problem, which sounds like it would have solved the boy's problem. Before meeting Zeus and Hera at Mount Olympus, offering him five favours from the gods. I am on a big power trip and you are coming with me! Then he builds a ship and has a contest to see who can join. Now there is a young fella who knows how to take over the world. Which includes Hercules, who steals a metal trinket from the island, bringing the statue to life. Oh, we are worms! Worthless worms! Memo to me, memo to me, maim you after my meeting. Then they unplug him in order to defeat him, before leaving Hercules behind. Oh my god! So you took care of him, huh? Dead as a doornail. Weren't those your exact words? This might be a different Hercules. Then capture a bunch of harpies and talking to a blind man. With concision here and we should be all done, Mrs. Wilson. Luke, use the force. Really? Because I was just going to make it. Use the force. Okay. Are you happy? I've never been happy. Who gives them a magic necklace? which lets them pass between smashing rocks. Hey! Spell of enough with the questions! Rescuing a maiden at sea who breaks them out of prison. Oh no! Christ landed on my planet, didn't ya? You? You're gonna have to pay for that, space lady. Then he kills the Hydra and heals her with the fleece. Worth watching for Magic Teeth Army. <laughs> Against the children of the Hydra's teeth, there is no protection. Rise up, you dead, slain of the Hydra. Rise from your graves and avenge us. Those who steal the Golden Fleece must die.